Hi, Gina. This is Patty, and I am going to take you on a little journey through uh, my experience with taking kitten weights um, and just show you charts of your kitten weights. Um, you're doing great. I am amazed that you're starting with a mom with eight kittens and how well you're doing, especially with all the bottle feeding and everything. Um, I wanted to show you some trends I can see in your kitties. Um, this is a chart I did when I had Barry and her five kittens. Um, and you can see I created a spreadsheet similar to what you're doing. Mine had the dates down the side and then the names across the top. I'm hoping you can see my cursor moving. Um, and then I just started documenting their weights and then I would mark in red if they dropped. Um, and then I created a chart from it. And as you can see on this chart, I was watching each kitten has a different color. So you can see like peach is blue, key lime is orange, rhubarb is gray, buttermilk was yellow and shoe fly was like a lighter blue. And you can see each kitten has their own line and I was watching them grow. And then right around July 30th, they started dropping off. A few of them did, they started leveling off and it made me anxious. Um, they also were having some symptoms like diarrhea. Um, and so that was when I took them to the vet, they all were put on medicine and then you can see the trajectory of them improving and going up between August 2nd and August 4th. Um, so I did a similar chart. I did each of your kittens separately. Um, and let me see if I can go to that. Yes. So here I took all your weights off of your, um, your Google Doc, um, and then I made a chart. And when I made a chart, it looked like this, and it was like, oh, okay, this is too chaotic for me to look at, and it's hard to tell over here with the overlaps and everything. And so what I decided to do was I made them each a chart, and what I did is I showed what the low norm would be if they gained 10 grams per day, and what the high norm would be if they gained 15 grams per day. And it made a kind of V shape, you can see the red line is the low norm and the yellow line is the high norm. And so what you'd love to see is something like we see here with Kiwi, where Kiwi is the blue line and anytime Kiwi is below this, uh, v, this triangle shape, it means that she was, she or he was a little below gaining the average low. And then anytime she's, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know if they're boys or girls. <laughs> well, with Kiwi, I'm not sure. Um, if they're in between the yellow and red, that means that they were um, with the normal limits of weight gain. And what I did for each kitten is I started at their base weight, whether they were underweight for their age or not, or just starting with where they're at and seeing like, how are they doing with gaining 10 to 15 per day? So here, Kiwi, I put them in order. You can see down below, I have Kiwi, Lola, Boba, Popcorn. I put them in order of doing the best to doing the, the not the worst, but still not doing bad. Like when I say the worst, they're still all doing great. So um, so Kiwi, you can see, started out gaining below and then kind of went into the norm and then went back down below gaining weight. You can see the dates across the bottom and then has been within the normal range for the last couple of days. So that's really good. So over the course of 10 days, Kiwi is ending up within normal limits of how much uh, they should have gained in the last 10 days, which would be between 100 and 150 grams total from here to here. So Kiwi's doing great. Um, so keep doing what you're doing with Kiwi. Lola, same thing, almost the same kind of trajectory. Lola actually started out beating the norm and then kind of went a little bit below the norm. This looks like a normal kitten weight chart. Like you can see the blue line goes a little bit above average, goes below the low average, and then ends up somewhere in between. Lola is doing great. I hope this chart makes sense to you. So you want the line to be between the red and the yellow. Um, Boba, Boba has been riding the low line, um, but doing better lately. So you can see Boba was a little, just a little bit below the red line, but kind of almost parallel and then went above and then below and then above and then below. And so it's just kind of riding that low line. So Boba's doing great. So for all these Kiwi, Lola, Boba, keep doing what you're doing. Popcorn, same thing. Popcorn started out like gangbusters going way above the yellow to red 
and then uh, has just stayed within the norm. Boba is, or popcorn, popcorn is trending downward. So you can see popcorn was like, almost the high average was above average here, almost the high norm and has been trending down and is ending up at like, at the uh, low end of normal. So keep an eye on popcorn, but keep doing what you're doing. But popcorn's looking good as long as that trend goes back up again. The, um, and I'll talk about that later. Um, nibs, kind of the same thing as boba, I think. Yeah, nibs is just kind of riding the low, the low end, kind of having a little bit more of a separation from this low norm to high norm. As time goes on, you can see this gap between the low norm and boba or nibs is a chart is getting, actually it's staying pretty parallel. It's getting a little bit lower. Um, so nibs is doing well with consistently gaining weight, but could probably use a little help to try to boost them up to get them into the normal range. Coco, um, so Coco, Leo, and Winston, they're the ones I'm most concerned about. Coco started out, so again, we're looking at the yellow to red is the norm the normal high, the normal low for weight gain, the weight gain trajectory. And you can see Coco started out great and then kind of was like right at the average low and has been dropping off. And you can see this gap in between the low norm and where Coco's at has been expanding. So Coco's one I'm a little worried about because Coco started out doing great and has been kind of tapering off. You can see if it does kind of an arc like if I drew a smooth line, this would do kind of an arc downward. That Coco I'm concerned about. So Coco, I would make sure you're doing supplemental feeding. Um, Leo, almost the same with Coco. Look at that, they're almost exactly the same. Um, Leo started out doing great, has been tapering off. And this space in between the low norm and where Leo is at has been widening. So Leo, I would also do supplemental feeding. And then Winston, same thing. Started off riding the line of the normal low and then has been tapering off. So all three of these, Coco, Leo, and Winston are all still gaining, but gaining less and less each day. Um, so they're the ones I'm most worried about. So, um, I meant to look at your feeding chart, but those are the three that I would make sure that you're giving supplemental feeding to, for sure. Um, and the rest like nibs, nibs, you could try to get nibs to catch up. Popcorn is trending down, but still stayed within the normal. Um, Boba riding the line, but doing good. Lola's doing great. Kiwi's doing great. And you are doing great, my friend. Um, so anyway, um, I hope that helps. Uh, I love you, friend. I'll talk to you later.